Hello again, beautiful people. And tonight I have another special treat for you. We are going to make homemade crab meat. First thing you need is this right here. This is uh, actually a half a pound of crab meat claws. We're gonna use about another half a pound of homemade mashed potatoes, uh, some salt and pepper, a couple dashes of this hot sauce, couple dashes of the Worcestershire sauce, one egg for binding. This is about a quarter cup of breadcrumbs, one small onion, a couple of tablespoons, actually that's three tablespoons of parsley and fresh garlic. That's about four cloves. So stay tuned, my friends. We're gonna put all this stuff together and we'll be eating in no time. Stay tuned, my friends. Okay, beautiful people. So as you can see, I put all of those beautiful foul ingredients in this beautiful bowl. And that includes a couple dashes of the hot sauce and Worcestershire sauce. And now one thing that I forgot is about, uh, I don't know, a couple of nice small uh, roasted peppers. So let me mix this all together and uh, we'll be with you soon. So stay with me, my friends, stay with me. I'm gonna have you eaten, I promise you, very, very shortly, stay tuned. My friends, I forgot to tell you, put a couple of tablespoons of uh, mayo and a teaspoon of mustard, mix that up and then put it into that mix. Totally forgot, but we'll get you there soon. Stay tuned, my friends, stay tuned. So hello my friends, after you put all of those beauty foul ingredients, I have one more secret for you. Put this in the freezer. You definitely want them to get a little bit harder than they are because they typically tend to be a little soft once you put all of that mixture together. So just put them in the freezer for about 45 minutes, 50, 50 minutes or so, and then you are going to be ready to fry them. So stay tuned my friends, I'm gonna have you eating in no time. We will fry these bad boys up in no time. So stay tuned. All right, my friends, there goes those beauty foul crab cakes. We're putting them in, in the uh, fryer now with this cast iron. So stay tuned, my friends. We're doing about four today. So look at that. It's going to come together. Just stay tuned. Bear with me, and you're going to be eating in no time. So after about four minutes, we turned it to the other side. We're almost there, my friends. So stay tuned. Look at that nice crust that you have there. So yeah, it's looking good. Look at those colors from all of the peppers, everything. So <laughs> stay tuned, we're gonna eat too, my friends. Stay tuned. Okay, and now I'm going to make some homemade uh, tartar sauce, which is just nothing but relish, some mayo, a little bit of salt and pepper. So let me mix this together and I'm gonna show you how to serve this with the uh, crab cake. So stay tuned, my friends. And there goes that beauty foul tartar sauce, nothing more than relish and a little bit of mayonnaise, about a, a tablespoon and a half of each, a little bit of salt and pepper, and that's it. That's all you need for tartar sauce. So enjoy it, my friends. And there you have it, my friends. Homemade crab cakes with a little bit of lime and that homemade tartar sauce. Enjoy it, my friends. Enjoy it.